Ladies and gentlemen, our event. This year marked the 70th anniversary of the Bataan Death March during World War II. Thousands gathered at White Sands Missile Range to remember the fallen and honor survivors by participating in the annual 26.2 mile Bataan Memorial Death March. A few remaining survivors came together to honor their fallen comrades. Family members provided their first-hand view of life after the war. My earliest remembrances were in about, gosh, I must have been about six or seven years old, and Dad would be at home with some of his buddies coming over to visit, and, and they'd start telling war stories. And I really didn't understand what it was all about. And my brother and I would look at each other and go, oh, here comes another war story, <laughs> you know, because he spoke freely about them to all of his friends. But I, I really didn't understand what it was all about until much later. For others, it took time to know anything. I was a sophomore in high school watching a PBS documentary on World War II the Pacific, and they were mentioning the POWs. And my father left the room. My mom followed him, and I had no idea what was going on. And I had never seen my father cry before. And he broke down in tears because of this documentary. And after the documentary, I asked some, some questions. And he said, yes, he was a POW. Many of the experiences were passed down to younger generations. Once I realized the importance of what these men on Bataan had done, um, and the importance of the terrible um, things that they had to go through, the march and the imprisonment. I knew that this was something very important and I wanted them to remember that they had this legacy. One survivor felt it paramount to pass on his experience and the lessons he learned. I think above all things is your children need to know it, of what you went through. Because if we tell what we went through, they might miss some of the things. A professor at the University of Maryland uh, found 41 of us that did not have nightmares or bad dreams. And he found three things that was predominant in, all, in 41 of us. Faith in God, tell what happened when you get back, don't get the gory tales. And then do not hold a grudge because if you hold a grudge, who does it hurt? It hurts you. As the Bataan Memorial Death March works to keep the memory of Bataan alive, the families of survivors continue to do their part to never forget that fateful time. I'm Airman First Class David Joes, Holloman Air Force Base, New Mexico.